How's it going everyone? My name is AJ. Today I want to talk about torque. One of those flashy words not only used in every pickup truck commercial, but also pops up every now and then in the world of strength training. While physicists, engineers, and even mechanics are able to explain the concept quite well, most fitness professionals struggle, at least in my opinion. From a strength training perspective, what is torque? And is it something worth caring about when you're in the gym? I am going to answer both questions from a scientific perspective. Before I go any further, please support the channel by leaving a like, subscribing, and hitting the notification bell to ensure you stay up to date on new videos. From a mathematical and scientific perspective, torque is a measure of twisting force that causes rotation. Whether you are doing a squat, lunge, deadlift, chest press, leg raise, or any movement for that matter, your body needs to generate torque to make it happen. Let me show you a relatively simple example on how it comes into play during a bicep curl. To generate torque in any case, you need an axis of rotation, a lever arm, some sort of applied force, and some sort of resistive force. In this particular case, the elbow acts as the axis of rotation, the radius represents the lever arm, the bicep muscle generates the applied force, and the combined weight of the dumbbell and arm represents the resistive force. These four variables come together to create another invisible variable known as a moment arm. The moment arm represents the perpendicular distance between the axis of rotation and the resistive force. During early stages of the bicep curl, the amount of torque required to lift the weight by your bicep increases. This is because torque is the product of the force applied and the length of the moment arm. Even though the force of the dumbbell and the length of the lever arm have not changed, the length of your moment arm has increased. Therefore, the torque required to continue lifting the weight will increase as well. This is why you often see people struggle during the bicep curl as their elbow approaches 90 degrees, where the moment arm is at its longest. Once you have passed the 90 degree bend, moment arm distance begins to decrease. So does the amount of torque needed to lift the weight. So your bicep muscle doesn't need to work as hard and it feels easier to lift the dumbbell. These rules also apply when you are lowering the dumbbell during eccentric contraction. To sum things up, your body needs to generate torque to lift weights. The distance of the moment arm plays a major role in determining how much torque is required during the range of motion, and the longer the moment arm, the more torque required to complete the lift. So now that you have a basic understanding on how our body produces torque, how can we use these laws to our advantage during other heavy compound lifts, like a deadlift. Well, let's take a look. During this lift, you have multiple joints where torque can be generated. To keep things simpler, I'm going to focus on three of the bigger ones, your hip, shoulder, and knee. Each area generates torque to help you get the weight off the ground. If your goal is to lift as much weight as possible, you want to ensure that your muscles use torque to their advantage. One way to do this is by keeping the moment arms as short as possible so less torque is required to get the bar off the ground. In this case, your moment arms represent the perpendicular distances between your various joints and the barbell. One of the major form cues that coaches harp on is keeping the bar close to your body during the entire duration of the lift. Not only will this keep your back in a safer position, but it also provides you a mechanical advantage, especially during the first third or so of the lift, when the moment arm distances are the longest. This small adjustment can make an enormous difference in the amount of torque required to successfully complete the lift. Next time you're in the gym, use these principles to your advantage to maximize weight lifted and crush your PRs. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it, share it with your friends, subscribe, and turn notifications on. Thank you so much for watching, and stay strong.